the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Cute idea and all. Hearing the thrilling news that Hasbin Hotel may receive several more seasons excites fans for the series' future. With many questions left unanswered at the end of Season 1, future seasons would shine a light on the characters' fates and complex storylines. With Heaven and Hell changing so quickly and Charlie determined to keep her hotel up and running, the following seasons will likely contain many more adventures and adversaries for the Hasbin Hotel to overcome. In today's video, we'll cover our top 10 predictions that would make future seasons be met with anticipation. That's my wall that you just blew up. It's so nice to meet one of Angel's friends! Oh, he never brings anyone around. Number 1. More Hotel Residents since the series began, Charlie has been vocal about her ambitions for her hotel to become popular, allowing her and her friends to redeem as many people as possible. Now that all of Hell witnessed them defending their home against Adam and his exorcist angels, we can expect more people to want to join her team, if for no other reason than to fight back against what Heaven has put them through for years. Demons such as Rosie and Carmilla could be expected to join first since they have already played a significant role in helping Charlie in the final fight. If demons with as much recognition as they decide to support the hotel, we could expect many more sinners to join since both women are essential figures in Hell. And Rosie, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Princess Charlie Morningstar. Number 2. More Sinners Being Redeemed from the moment Serpentius arrived in heaven and the show must go on, there was a sense of relief for the man's safety, especially since he could finally redeem himself. Although Charlie is unaware that Serpentius made his way past heaven's gates, we could expect her to find out soon, especially since Emily promised to help her in whatever way she could. Once Charlie understands the requirements for sinners to be redeemed, it won't take long for her hotel to become famous and for her to have more sinners than she'll know what to do with. Throughout several more seasons, we could expect her to help many people into heaven and a better afterlife. We could see Angel Dust, Nifty, and Husk eventually end up on the other side if they break their overlord's contracts. Huh? What? Where? Where am I? Oh. Number 3. The End of the Vs the Vs have remained near the top of Hell's overlords for at least seven years while Alistair was away. Their control over Hell hasn't slipped since then, and even near the end of the first season, when Alistair shows his full powers and pulls himself back to the hotel after nearly losing to Adam, the Vs don't lose hope. Since we know all three of them own many souls combined, their looming presence over Hell will likely take a long time to tear down. However, ending their reign over Hell won't be difficult for Charlie or Alistair, and if the Radio Demon asks for her help to end the V's power over Hell, she will be forced to listen. With them out of the picture, it wouldn't take much for Alistair to reclaim his place as one of Hell's most potent overlords, allowing him to control Hell like he used to. We know this is his end goal, and the show must go on, so it would make sense for him to strive to take down the V's. Maybe someone on the inside isn't such a bad idea. Do you think Angel would? Number 4. More Fallen Angels Although it's not yet confirmed, many fans expect to see Adam as a fallen angel in the new season since he lost his wings during the fight. If this is the case, he could be another bigger problem in Hell since he would be gaining information for both sides at that point. We could also expect more of his exorcists to join him in the underworld since they'll likely start another attack on the hotel eventually, and we see Lilith in the show must go on as someone loot turns to after Adam's death. I started everything on Earth! All of mankind came from these f nuts! Number 5 a power change between heaven and hell. When Charlie and Vaggy visit heaven and welcome to heaven, we see how perfect the realm is and how happy everyone seems to always be there. We also see the angels in charge, such as Adam and Sarah who have more say than the other angels in heaven. Their power dynamic is similar to the hierarchy of hell, but unlike hell, heaven seems to have more power over both realms. Since Emily and the other angels know what Sarah and Adam have been doing now, we could expect an uprising within heaven, resulting in a civil war. If this were to happen, it could change the power dynamic of both afterlives and result in heaven no longer being on top. Since Lucifer has also decided to take a stand with his daughter and the two of them have stopped future extermination days, Hell could regain the power it once had. Although this may not result in a complete power shift, it could allow Heaven and Hell to become equals again. Whatever you want. I go by whatever. <laughs> Welcome to Heaven. Number 6. Meeting More People in Heaven when Charlie visits heaven, she does not meet anyone with the same level of empowerment as her dad back in hell. Since we know Lucifer has his siblings and God most likely exists somewhere in the heavenly realm, we could expect to meet them in future seasons. Since Adam failed to pursue the hotel, someone higher than him or Sarah could come down to sort things out independently. This could also be because Sarah explains that redeeming people isn't simple and welcome to heaven. Since Serpentius accomplishes what seems impossible, we could expect the higher-ups to become upset. 
If Charlie continues to send more sinners into heaven, it could also cause overcrowding. Since we can't assume all of heaven's higher class angels allowed heaven to go to hell, they could try to throw sinners back into hell again since no one tried to prevent Adam from wreaking havoc on the fiery realm in the beginning. Whether or not a soul in hell can be redeemed into the heavenly realm by means of this has-been hotel. Number 7. Another Big Fight when more of Heaven's angels hear about what Charlie and her friends are doing in Hell, we could expect Heaven not to approve. Since Heaven has declined her offer multiple times about redeeming fallen souls, her doing it anyway will have consequences. Although Lucifer is now willing to support his daughter, his wife doesn't seem ready to do the same thing, and she may be the first one to tell Charlie she needs to stop. If neither Lucifer nor Charlie listen to Lilith, other heavenly forces could find them and force them to stop. Since we know Charlie and most of Hell would fight for their land, their plans may result in an all-out war across both lands and a fight that large would likely go on for a very long time and have casualties on both sides. This may be the end of the show that many other seasons could lead up to since there would be no moving forward if one side won over the other since both Heaven and Hell are important. Wait, what did I say? <laughs> So this is what you've been up to since Eden? Number 8. Charlie taking over as Hell's leader If something were to happen during another fight with Lucifer, Charlie would be the only person who could take over. Since we are still determining Lilith's end goal, we could see her trying to take the throne from her husband in the future, especially since she seems to be working alongside Heaven. But the best way to prevent the women from doing this would be for Charlie to take over, especially since she's shown that she is more ready. Even Rosie and Alistair agree that Charlie has come a long way and would do well with the power passed down to her as we see in Hello Rosie. You know I would do anything, anything for my clients, but I can't exactly command all of Cannibal Town to follow someone else. Number 9. Relationship Changes if the series continued for many more seasons, we could expect to see the dynamics of character relationships changing over time. Since Charlie finds out the truth about Vaggie and Welcome to Heaven, they still have much to work through in their relationship. There's also speculation that Husk and Angel Dust could end up together since the two have only grown closer after Masquerade. Although the series has many high tensions throughout the different storylines, we can at least hope that the characters find people they care about before things change too much from how they started. I took charge today and it all went sideways. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm supposed to protect you. Number 10, Family Reunion. When we see Lilith at the end of The Show Must Go On, we immediately expect a family reunion to happen soon since it seems the woman is being forced back into hell, even if only to accomplish her job. Since Heaven is also drastically changing, we could see Lucifer's brothers visiting him eventually since he is helping change the course of both worlds forever. Dad, stop! He's defending this hotel! It may be a bit more sadistic than I'd hoped, but he's doing it for me. We hope that Hasbin Hotel gets as many seasons as possible and that the story continues for a while. With so many different characters involved and relationships changing and growing, there's no telling how many things could happen within the world Vivian Madreno has created. I love you all so much and and live tonight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Now, fair warning, this group sticks together. So in order to convince any of them, you'll need to convince all of them.